In this video, we'll show you the auto-resolve conflict functionality. During this module, you have learned that Capato performs a different auto-resolve strategy depending on the type of conflicted file. Imagine that your next release includes a community rollout with ideas and knowledge, and you need to grant support users the right permissions to manage articles and refer customers to ideas. Dave has been working in the Developer One sandbox to grant knowledge permissions to the support user permission set. To save the changes, he has committed the support user permission set in a user story. In order to move Dave's user story to the next environment, mark the Promote and Deploy checkbox. So now, the knowledge permission is in INT. On the other hand, Debbie has been assigned the task of adding access to ideas to the support user permission set. After completing her work, she has committed the permission set in a user story. Now, it's your turn to deploy Debbie's changes to the next environment. Before doing it, you create a pull request from the user story to validate if the changes can be merged into the destination environment. Despite Git's conflict warning, don't panic. Capato will handle it for you. As you recall, when there's a conflict in a permission set, Capato applies a semantic merge, creating a third version of the file and merging the content of Dave's and Debbie's versions. It is this third version of the file, the final version included in the promotion branch. So go ahead and check the Promote and Deploy checkbox in the user story. Shortly after promoting the user story, you receive an email alerting you that Capato has auto-resolved a conflict while merging Debbie's feature branch into the promotion branch. This email informs you of the conflicted files and the commit ID. Great job! Now you understand how the auto-resolve engine manages a conflict, how you are notified, and the actions you can take.